Hey, how's it going guys? Get out of here. See you later, punk. Welcome back to Modded Terraria. Right now, I'm headed to the desert because I need to fight. We're just going to kill the desert scourge real quick in prepare to die mode, I've heard. So come here, buddy. And oh, you got... <laughs> yes, that's what we wanted. <laughs> um, I guess we'll cancel that for now. What's in here? Bunch of, you know, stuff. Cool. We already have this stuff. We don't need it. This is what we wanted. The torrential tear summons the rain. Rain will start after some time after this item is used. Okay, let's use it now. And hopefully get some rain. I'm just going to trash this stuff because I don't need it. I guess we'll keep them because they could be interesting. I need this stuff for decoration. And let's hope that we get some rain over here. I need it to rain because we're going to go into the snow biome and hunt for these things, these frost chunks that drop from uh, mobs from Tremor Mod during uh, blizzards. And we're going to use them. I need 25 of them to make a frost crown with the rest of this stuff up here. So we can summon the Frost King is his name. Let's just sit here for a minute. Yeah, uh, Frost King. He's all the way back here, but you know, we'll try not to kill him too fast. Here it is though, sweet. I'm probably gonna go underground for this. So actually, you know what I also need? Let's stay up on the surface for now. Because I need you. I need you. No, do not despawn. Do not do that. Did I get you? I got it. <laughs> that was like really bad photography right there, but I got it. Sweet. Now you can die. You're actually taking quite a few hits from this. That's pretty crazy. Sweet. We got a nice feather that we don't need either. Hello there. Oh, wow. I'm dying. Stop shooting fireballs at me. I'm talking to a lost girl right now. I'm killing it. I wonder how many I've killed so far. Okay, this thing... What? <laughs> What's going on? No! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Run away from the pain. I got a solar drop. That's not what I want. Still no more uh, chunks. Can I make anything else with this metal detector? No. We don't want it. See you later. <laughs> Peace. Yes, we got it, guys. Sweet. Uh, I don't remember what that is. Okay, let me take these things off. And what's this? Okay, right there. Nice. Perfect. And I think we only need to make one because then we'll, we'll be able to buy another one from uh, the mutant NPC. Okay. Uh, let me put this stuff away, and then we're going to go and do something. All right, guys. So, we have enough. And I want to make the... Where is it? Where is it? Is this it? Frost Crown. Yes. To summon the Frost King. And we're also going to make this Ancient Medallion, which I've been told is how you summon the Ravager, I'm pretty sure. But it says that it's made with lizard bricks, and it says a Temple Medallion. So I guess I'm going to go fight the Ravager over at the Lizard area. But first, we're going to go over here to a little area that I've been working on, that I started working on, in preparation for something that's going to be happening very soon here. Buff. All right. And then I guess we're just going to do it. Hopefully, yes, we can do it during the day. Here you are. Are you going to... Here, let's... Uh... Yes! I love this music. Ow. We're just gonna take a look at him for a little bit. Before we kill him. He might die from the judgment. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna. Oh, he's dead. Frost King is done. He looked cool. Looks pretty cool. Uh, trash, trash, trash. Okay, Frost King, treasure bag. And we got a stealthy ice clasper. Go away. Boom. Edge of Frost King. 202 melee. Strong knockback. Aw, oh, man. Does it do anything? 
Uh, does it say anything? Just says, okay. Whatever. There's that. And then Froststone Ore. Ooh, probably just bars. Let me check. Probably bars. Yes, Froststone Bars. I need Ectoplasm. Okay. We'll make some of them real quick. Get out of here. Oops, not the camera. Alright. So... Froststone bars. I haven't really noticed anything using them in the recipe browser. Oh, here. We'll make a Corvellium. What? How did a slime get in there? What's going on? <laughs> a slime, a green slime with 338 HP. Good job, buddy. Okay, let's make uh, as many of these as we can, I guess. Just, where is it? Here, let me kill it. All right, guys, it's it's gone. The little green slime is gone. Now you guys can rest in peace. Okay, so we can make the frost hammer. Nah. Ice drill, 200. Yeah, I mean, Frost King was earlier game. We already passed that stage. So you can make these tools with his stuff. That's it. Or see if we can make anything else with these. Oh, wings. Frost steel wings. Eternal ice set. Immunity to on fire. 30 defense, 20, and 20. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, and it doesn't have any... Grants 10 defense if lower than 70 health. Wow. All right, well, I'm not going to make that yet. Frostbiter. Anything else? Permafrost. Ooh. Frost essence. I think I have them. Do, how many bars? I have 20 bars. Here, wait, what's this? Ah, okay. Uh, 12 of those. Do I have... Oh, what? Ah, trolled. <laughs> well, if I get another one, we'll end up making that this episode. Okay, so now before we head on to something else, let me probably... It might have to be nighttime for this. Uh, where are we? We're here. We gotta go here. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can summon the Ravager and survive. But we're going to do it over here in our Lizard area. First, let me see. Okay. Hello. It's a big Ravager. Um, here. Let's undine you to death. He's got multiple uh, bars, health bars. Ow, and he's... Oh my god, and he's doing... Crazy damage. <laughs> okay, don't just stand there and tank them. Noted. So I want to kind of look at him. The sprite looks really cool. Where's his health bar? Okay. Um, let's try to kill... Let's try to heal up a little bit. Oh, there's his health bar. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we killed them. Like, instantly. Oh, and he drops all these cores. That's cool. It's good that we killed him when we did, because we just got, like, a massive amount of slowdown right then. He drops Yulius bars, maybe? Oh, wow, he drops all these bars. Bars of life. That's cool. That's a really good idea. A way to, uh, kind of farm those ingredients instead of having to mine them. Nice. He drops all the cores, including the core of calamity, and then bars of life, and all the bars that make the bar of, bars of life. Interesting. Okay, now let me put this stuff away. Real fast. Boom. And what are these? Frost stone bars. Uh, we're gonna put them over here with all these other calamity. I mean, not calamity. Tremor bars. And then these go back in here. Okay, these, whatever. Um, Edge of the Frost King. I don't know. I ended up making this creepy throne, guys. And maybe I'll use that in something I'm going to work on. Hmm. Okay, now, is there anything else I wanted to make real fast? I don't think so. I mean, I could make, like, this. Here, we might as well make it, right? Let me see. 
Where do I make it? Oh, right here. I can make the statuses curse. Increased max minions by three. 15% increased minion damage. Shadow flame powers to all minions. And minions make enemies cry on hit. I can make that, but we're not, you know, going to use that yet. Might as well just make it. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> Wrong thing. I got this 100 needles spell, and I think I could make 1,000 needles, but we're not going to do that. Uh, when I switch back to magic or summoning, we'll take another look at that stuff. But for now, let me trash these snowballs. Let me quick stack these potions I'm never going to use again. And I guess we're going to get rid of the demon trophy. This, I'm not going to use that. It does 202 damage, but eh. Let's just dump this actually in here. All right. And let me grab, I guess I'll sell that real quick. But I want to grab some stuff because what I want to do here, I guess uh, maybe I'll need a lot of this. I don't know. Probably not that much. Grab some stone too, though. Uh, and mud. What I want to do is I want to start getting... Where is it? This area ready. This is going to be, like I've mentioned before, uh, I already kind of started it on the dirt a little bit. I want to line the bottom with dirt and kind of shape this area. What it's going to be, it's going to be an arena for Abaddon. And I kind of want to make it like a graveyard. And it's going to be inspired by... Ghouls and Ghosts, if you've ever heard of that game by Capcom. Old school game Maximus is based on it. Anyway, so yeah, it's going to be kind of like a graveyard with like kind of hills and like another level using actuated blocks and stuff. But I'm just wanna, I just want to get it started. I'm not going to finish this today. Not at all, because it's going to take a while. Because I want to add a lot of detail to it. Okay, now I'm just going to head over there real quick. Just to show you a before and after type thing. Because I'm not actually going to probably do this on camera. Oh, and I put asphalt blocks all across here. Because I want to kind of get this tunnel system started out too. And hey, you're not allowed to punch me. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to get started on actually making this, like building this up and walling it in and everything. Anyway, it makes traveling over here a lot faster. So, I already brought some stuff over here, including all these. I had to kill myself a bunch of times. And uh, I might have to kill myself even more, depending on how big I build this thing. Uh, whatever. See you later. So, all I'm gonna do, this is what it looks like before. It's just some dirt on the ground. Yeah, I'm not gonna really show this, because it's mostly gonna be me just terraforming. Okay, guys, <laughs> I said I uh, was just going to get it started, but I did get a little bit carried away here. Uh, let's head down there and I'll show you how carried away I got. It's still not finished, but I did more than just terraform. I did actually start really building and uh, decorating, <laughs> but it, it still has a while left to go. And as I said earlier, it is inspired by the... It's inspired by the Super Nintendo version of uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, if you've ever played that. Okay, so that was before, and this is how it looks after. Uh, so far, nothing. Yeah, I left the world and came back because it was just littered full of junk from killing everything. So I just wanted to get it started here. Uh... You can see, like, from the Super Nintendo version of Ghouls and Ghosts, when you're playing through the first stage in that game, which is the graveyard, all of a sudden these hills form underneath you, and skeletons start pouring out of them. Oh, hey, buddy! What's up? It's you! <laughs> How's it going, Skeledude? How are you? Perfect timing. Perfect place for you to spawn, too. Here, just follow me around. It's okay. I don't know where, uh... ZB is, but yeah, here's a little background hill. I used the floating decoration trick for the teleporter trick to... Oh, there's a raven. Oh, no. Let's just kill everything. Bye-bye, skelly dude, my good friend. Uh, whatever, we'll keep this stuff. Oops. Raven feathers, okay, and dice. 
Get away. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. Getting it started. And eventually, this is the sky. The shadow painted. It's actually a stone, stone wall. And I'm going to have that go up to like here. Oh, there's another one. Wow. The whole time I was building this, I didn't see a single one of these. What is going on? Are you serious? <laughs> okay. And watch me get a... Wait, is this a regular werewolf? Here. Skelly dudes. I wish a uh, colossal one would spawn. That would be amazing. So yeah, the shadow painted background wall is going to go up to like here. And then above that, I'm going to have like different shades of blue gem spark wall, I think. And then I'm going to build a big moon up in the sky. And it has to be an arena. Don't forget that. So this, see how I put like these dynasty tables stacked and then like platforms up here, which I'm probably probably going to paint. That's going to go, like, there's going to be a bunch of these little crypts. What is this that's um, radiated from you, punk? Get out of here. <laughs> uh, uh, there's going to be a bunch of platforms and, like, bridges connecting different buildings and stuff in the background. Maybe another hill or two. But then I got to, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'll work on it again more later. But for now... I want to get out of here. Okay, so when you use Smart Cursor, normally with walls, it creates a, a big square shape or a decent sized square shape. Like, we'll just let it finish. There we go, except for right there, of course. But even though this thing says not to, it says do not use Smart Cursor with walls while this is equipped, I can. It doesn't, like, destroy your world automatically. <laughs> what it does, it just has, like, a really big range. But when you do it with this, with this thing equipped and Smart Cursor, it actually places the walls in a circular shape. So it's really, really good for creating different size circles. So you look at that. That's all you got to do is just put this on. If, I guess, it can cause a lot of lag if you don't have a good computer. Uh, but give it a try if you have this thing and you want to build circles. It actually, you can build different size circles with this thing up to, I think, 50, 50 by 50. That's what this thing, that's its uh, range limit. Anyway, let me get rid of all these walls and then we're gonna go fight somebody else. All right, guys. Now, this is what that looks like on the map for those of you who want to see that. There's going to be like a big building over here, like a crypt, decorated with statues and stuff. And then there's going to be one here, another one here, and then there's the little one over here. And probably another background tree, like a living wood actuated tree over here. I think my voice just cracked really bad. <laughs> uh, and then these crypts, these buildings, are going to be attached to each other by bridges. And so that it's... It's not just ground based so that there are like platforms up in the sky too. And then there's going to be a big moon over here. Anyway, so there's that. And we're going to be fighting Abaddon in here fairly soon. But first, guys, first, I wanted to make this. People told me not to make some of this stuff, but this weapon is one that I really wanted to make. So I'm going to make it. Seven Seas Devastator. 561 melee, that seemed very powerful back then, but I mean, look at this. I got the Grand Guardian, it does 594, 328, okay, whatever, 351, 227, this thing. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna make this. We get a zealous one. Yes, look at those bubbles of death. Okay, yeah, I saw this thing and I was like, oh, I wanna make that. Now, I'm a little tired. I was working on that build for uh, longer than I wanted. That's why, like, it's really late right now. And I'm like, oh, man, I need to finish recording this and, like, get it uploaded. We got a godly one. Sweet. Okay, now let me use some dice on this. Or 18% to inflict poison. Uh, let me see how many dice I have. Get out of here. And then... Uh, 
that will determine whether or not I'm going to use any. I have 16. Okay, we'll do that. And just watch. We're not going to get anything. Okay, do not. Oh, you punk. What is that? Oh, by the way, uh, you're going to die. You killed my merchant. This beautiful painting, as you can see, <laughs> is from Juiced Mod. You guys should get Juiced Mod. Get, make this painting. I think it's uh, you make it out of eight wood and one iron or lead bar. And uh, make a bunch of them and plaster them all around your worlds. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't have to do that. But it's still really cool. Thank you, Juiced, for making that. Man, what? We're not going to get anything. Plus three velocity. I used all my dice for that. Okay, let's use this. I don't even know if this does anything. That's why it's in here, because I it do, didn't seem to do anything. And I guess let's get our genie. And okay, it's almost nighttime. I'm not sure if I have to fight this guy at night. But we are going to fight if I can find the things I need. Oh, no. Here, let's make a daytime real quick to cancel that. Just so I don't get all my NPCs slain. I think I just need one of these, right? <laughs> Spoiler alert. That's what we're doing, guys. It's time. Uh, it is time. Oh, that's all we need? Four of these? Okay. Here, we'll make two of them. Come here. Make two of them just in case. Oops. Okay. Because I do have two of these. And we should be able to make that right here. Boom. Okay. I still have two of these battle combinations. I got pumpkin pie. Uh, should be good. Where are we going to fight this noob? I don't have a main arena. I don't even have like a real arena. I guess we'll fight it there. That's the closest thing to an actual arena that I have. It's a very compact arena. That's why I want to... Where are we going? Let's just go from here. I want to uh, to build an actual arena soon, too. I just, I don't know where I'm going to build this. <laughs> this stuff. I mean, I need to keep a lot of space up here for, uh, like, Yaren. I'm, I, I'm building with lizard bricks in the sky. I'm going to build something like an ancient aliens type of, uh, like, re not retro, but, like, ancient futuristic spaceship. I'm thinking out of lizard brick, but yeah, I want to build a coliseum. I, it's a build that I have been planning and wanting to build for a long time. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go right up here. And hopefully here, let's, uh, I guess we'll turn this on. Hopefully we don't die here. Uh, first off. Yeah, it needs to be nighttime. Let's go. Let's buff and let's go okay yes tunes got a petrifying terror lord great okay oh no <laughs> frank the merchant hey what's up but we're killing totally killing the terror lord maybe okay that's cool it like spits stuff all over the place and i'm gonna die that's really cool though we killed the Terror Lord. He's dead already. I thought he'd have a second form. Oh, dude. Okay, now we can't... We gotta kill you now. Let's pick up all this stuff just in case. Okay. Wow. Um... That was... You're dead. That was a little bit uh, shocking. What's this? Terra Energizer. Superpowers all enemies and increases coin drop. Ah, if used. Increases coin drop, though. Use again to disable. I'm glad. Yeah, thank you everyone for letting me know in the comments about that. Because I think it used to just do it automatically. But then people didn't like that. So he added this. The forces of Terraria do not agree with your power. I'm going to try to fight him with this on. That might not be a good idea. We got the Terra Forge. Sweet. Used to forge items from Terramite. Also functions as an ancient manipulator. Sweet. Okay, so we have these treasure bags. But first, I'm going to try, probably foolishly. 
What if I used... We're not going to do this right now. But does this stack with the Celestial Onion and the Demon Trophy? If so, then that's crazy. Um, should I try this? Or should we just fight it normally? Let's, let's try it. Whatever. Oh, man. We just got one shot. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. I had 859 HP, and that thing just one-shot us. I dropped three platinum. Okay, well, you know what we're doing? We are not messing with this. Reevaluated my power. Wait. Okay, hopefully... Hopefully that's where it's supposed to be. Um, I'm gonna make one more of them real fast. Where? I need one of these. Okay. I'm gonna be fighting Moonlord a bunch more times. Soon. Because I need to. Let's make this. And let's do this. Now hopefully... I'm gonna buff again. Because we died. Oh, we lost our crown. Our victory crown. Oh well. Oh, we got a tiny little terror guard. Man, okay, they do a lot of damage. Yeah, don't fly into them. <laughs> I like the music a lot. I think it sounds like it's from another game. Anyway. So, let me keep these. We got another one of these. We'll, we'll sell that. And I got both trophies. Which is something that is amazing, and that's like one of my main goals. Okay, um, let's open the treasure bags. I think we're pretty much out of time here. We got two each. Let me get out of here. We'll go up here. And then I gotta move poor Frank back to his house. Okay, so I got Terra Saw, 1400 damage. Oh man, and it goes through everything, it goes through blocks. Okay. Terra's Wrath, 1,500 damage. Uh, probably fires. The Earth giveth away, the Earth taketh back. This looks like a rocket launcher. Okay. Terra Dragoon. Oh, nice. Dude. <laughs> uh, okay. Got another one of these. Another demonic one. 1700 damage. Man, I don't know about this stuff. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, this stuff looks very OP. Terra Lord Mask. Yes! We got the trophies and the mask. Terra Dagger. Wait. Okay, we got two of these. And this. I was told to use this to kill bosses really quick. It looks pretty insane. It's melee, it's not thrown. That's surprising. Anyway, okay, guys. Uh, boom, boom, boom. No value. Whatever. Yes. Yeah, I wish that the wooden TV from Tremor mod didn't get taken out. Like, I came... After I updated to the Tremor 1.3, the wooden TV was gone. <laughs> I want my wooden TV. I want my MTV. Okay. Anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Before we go... I want to give a shout out to Asel Squad for uh, that very in-depth tutorial comment on how to make the Heart of the Elements. And I we didn't get around to doing it this episode, but I am going to make that. Anyway, guys. All right. And thank you, Asel Squad. Thank you again for that. That was crazy. And thank you to the rest of you guys for watching. Lots of building going to happen very soon that I've been waiting to do for a very long time. Anyway, peace out.